Hey there, in about 30 seconds, I'm going to show you how powerful fastening and clustering is with Refine. It's going to blow your mind. This is a data set of accounts and contacts. Uh, billing country is blank on account, but mailing country is populated in contacts. I'm going to have some fun with this. But first, we're going to start by cleaning up the uh, list of countries using what's called faceting. So the, here I got 205,000 rows. Boom, facet, text facet. You see how fast that was? This is a old computer. It is not powerful. It's a core two duo. It's just nothing. And what faceting does is it goes through and shows you all the different values that you have. Um, and not only does it show you what they are, it shows you uh, the frequency distribution. So you want to pull out a frequency distribution, boom, there you go, paste that into any uh, program you want. Um, but what gets even, and you can use this to find and replace, so if you want to manually make a few changes, you can just click edit and it will replace all of those with whatever you apply in there. But even better is clustering. Um, you can click cluster, and cluster is a just phenomenal tool that uses has a bunch of different algorithms which you can select from here to try and find matching records and it does a pretty damn good job um, you know like you can just um, on the first pass you can almost hit select all and then just find the ones that are incorrect like here I just want to replace it with nothing because that's nothing and you know same with D I think is nothing um, and you know next thing you know We've just gone through and cleaned up all of that with one click. And not only that, that's just one of the algorithms. Try this one. Let's see what we find. Eh, not so much. Try this one. This is like a phonetic one. Um, it's amazing. And it's just, you know, sitting there for free. So you find things like Italia, you know, where we've got multilingual. It's just phenomenal. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that for faceting and clustering. And just again, that is like the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with this. I'm going to do some really cool stuff um, in the next video that will let me uh, just essentially populate the uh, country on account when there is just when the contacts underneath the account are all in one country. If they're in more than one country, then uh, I'll need to deal with that separately. But um, that is what I'm after. So that's coming next.